Okay, in this video, I'd like to look at how to modify elements inside of the array, modify these numerical values. So I want to do that on like a key press. We'll press a key and then we're going to change something. Okay, we're going to update the array, edit its values, and then see the result. So go back to our code. I'm just going to get rid of this console.log. I don't think I need that anymore because we're drawing the array. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have um, key event key event stuff will go here and I'm just going to add a document um, to the document add an event listener key down and we'll just have a key down handler uh, whoops that's not how I do that so I do a semicolon here and it's giving me an error saying hey there what is this key down handler well we have to define that as a function key down handler there we go and I'm going to put in a lovely little parameter here called event because when the key down event happens, this event listener will call this function and it will pass in some data that we can store inside of this event variable. And one of those things is event.keycode. So I'm just going to log that to the console just to make sure we remember. How this works we've probably done it before space key is 32 enters 13 left up right down so we have that that event property and actually i don't even think i need that event property but if we wanted to have different commands maybe i modify something when i press one something different when i do two we could have different uh, different options based on what key we press but in this case i think i'm just gonna say when i press any key i'm gonna change and i'm gonna modify the array in some way and we'll look at a bunch of different ways so the first thing let's just do something simple um, let's just um, reassign a value so let's say I'm gonna go my data at position 0 right so that looks up the value I can read right I can I do that here my data at I at 0 at 1 at 2 and I look up the value but we can also say hey look up the array at my position 0 and assign it to be um, 600 let's say right it should be a random number I'm not sure what it'll be but when I press a key I want to change my data to 600 okay so let's save that we'll hit refresh okay so right now it's something actually if I go my data at position 0 oops like that so that height right there is 458 point blah 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 okay so when I press any key now Key, this is supposed to change to 600. Okay, well, let's try this again. Oh, it did. My data zero is now 600, but I just don't see it. And the reason for that da, 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 is because we call this draw array function right here after I've created the array, but I've modified the array, but I haven't redrawn it to the screen. So I'm going to suggest that I've modified the array. I need to now do this again. I need to create that array again with the new values in my array and output it to the container. So I'm just going to call draw array here, and that'll modify the array and then redraw it. Maybe we'll add a comment there. Redraw the array. And now hopefully when I save and if I press any button, ta-da! goes up to 600. Ta-da! Okay, good. And of course, this could be any position, right? Five. You can access any value. I press a key. Five is this one. Zero, one, two, three, four, five. Yep. Okay, so that's that's pretty straightforward, right? Just look up the position and assign it so we can give it a new value. Um, you can also do things like this plus equals 10, let's say. And let's go back to the first, first element again. Um, so the plus equals, remember, is the same as doing my data at position 0 plus 10. So we're going to take the current value, add 10 to it, and then reassign it. Um, and then we don't, the short form of doing that is just plus equals. It means the same thing, right? Take what's currently in there, add 10 to it, and then reassign it. So now what will happen is whenever I press a key, this should increase by 10. 
right? Increase by 10, redraw it. Increase by 10, redraw it. And we can go, we could add some if statements, I guess, to <laughs> stop it from going beyond, but that's okay. All right. Um, so that's plus equals, and of course there's minus equals as well. There's times equals, divide equals, right? So there's subtracting, all that good stuff. Okay. Now this is just modifying one element at a specific position. What if I want to modify all the elements, right? What if I want to add 10 to every element in the array? Well, to do that, we've got this wonderful loop that you should get really used to that allows us to traverse through all of the elements, all right? So I could go for, actually I should just copy and paste, but that's okay. My data.length i++. So this will loop through the entire array starting at zero, going up to the length, i++ counting by ones. And I'm going to take this code, put it into here, and change that to i. So whenever I press a key, it's going to loop through all of the array elements and add 10 to every single one. Position 0, and then position 1, position 2, and then we'll redraw the array. Okay, let's try that. So hit refresh here, and plus 10, plus 10, plus 10, plus 10, plus 10. Awesome. Now I mentioned if statements before, I could totally do this. Instead of adding 10 to all of the values, I could do something like if my data at position i, right, if the current element value in my array, if it is less than 400, then I will increase it by 10. Right, so now we'll loop through every value, but I'm not going to modify all of them. I'm just going to modify the ones that satisfy that condition, the ones that are less than 400. Right, so now these taller ones aren't growing, and just the ones that are less than 400. So eventually, if I held this down, it doesn't all get exactly 400 because they are increasing by tens, but eventually they all get over 400. Okay, which actually, I guess what I could do is I could loop through everything. I could get rid of that if statement. I just thought of this. I could set everything to 400. Right, so now what will happen is I'm going to, when I press a key, I'm going to loop through the entire array and set every value to 400. Boop! There it is. Crazy. Um, what else do we want to talk about modifying? We can reassign values. We can add and subtract. I mentioned multiplying and dividing. We got if statements in there. I think that's good. Okay, so this is a lot of, a lot of, power, right? We can store all this data, however many values we want, we can modify, we can loop through it, um, ask, look up the values, change them, all sorts of good stuff. Okay, um, yeah, I'm going to stop here. In the next video, I think we'll look at maybe how to um, add and remove elements. Right, right now we're just modifying everything, like it's not changing size, we're just looking up values and changing them. Let's look and see if we can add and subtract values. Okay, hope that made sense. Take care, and we'll see you in the next video.